And here is the final product after it was repaired. The center bar the brace has been reinforced so that shouldn't crack open anymore and these areas here have been fixed. So hopefully now I need to prime it and paint it, smooth it down a bit. This was work done locally. Looks pretty good. And they covered covered the holes up that were there. Remember how there's holes usually right here for a pin or something to go through. And that's where it always broke where those holes were. But that's all been taken care of. So Looks good, and hope not have any more problems with that. Okay, we've gone ahead and primed it. Add a little primer to it. Hit up a couple spots that we wanted to cover here. Down on the bottom down there, when they hooked the TIG welder, he had to get a ground, so he had uh, cleared the paint off of that area so he could get a good ground. We need to touch that up. But uh, this is just the primer. And we'll get that, uh, let that dry for a while. And after that's dry, we're going to hit it up with some paint that I hope matches it, the right color. If not, we'll just settle for something close. Okay, here's with the paint job on. Color matches really good, as you can tell. I think it turned out pretty good. Got a few spots to touch up still that I haven't uh, let it dry. And then I'll uh, touch these spots up. A few here and there. I think it turned out really good. Not bad. So I'll let it go ahead and dry. I see that I got a spot right here I need to hit up. It's got a little bit of primer on it. Not in a big hurry. It's going to be four, four more months of cold weather, so got plenty of time, but I wanted to get the major part done. So I got the props back. I got this part back. And now the engine needs to be uh, completed. And I'm not sure what part of the film or video this will show up in. Slowly work our way and get everything put back together. I'll start adding things to the frame that I can add uh, as long as it doesn't make it too hard to put the, uh, the engine back in.